Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about Sky Striker in the post Cyberstorm access format. We need to make some changes to this deck for the new meta. Super Heavy Samurai, Purely, Kashtira, and Sprite. So we have to craft our deck to be able to deal with those threats and talk about the strengths and weaknesses of Striker in that field of play to see what we can do, uh, to see how we can have our deck compete a little bit. So let's talk about the strengths. Uh, the strength of Striker right now is that we're in a hand trap format and Striker is a hand trap deck. We can fit everything we need to play in order to compete. There's no problem for that. Striker has always had room for a ton of hand traps and that's what we need to be doing right now. Kashtira is falling off a little bit, so we don't have to worry as much about a Rise Heart. More importantly, we don't have to worry about the Chandra Era Lock as much. People are generally going for a Rise Heart Pass right now, uh, which is much easier for Striker to deal with than the like Lock 5 Zone stuff. Uh, and that's just a whole pain in the ass. So right now the format is like improving for Striker compared to last format, I would say. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai is a bit of an issue putting up like four to five bodies with negates. We can usually deal with one or trade with one or two, but having to trade with like four bodies is a little bit of a challenge. And then purely is also a challenge really coming up because X purely Noir is unaffected by stuff. And Striker has a little bit of an issue with cards that are unaffected or untargetable or indestructible and that kind of thing. So uh, we have to deck build to address those concerns and I've attempted to do that and I'm gonna show you guys my build for Cyberstorm Access format. We'll see if the ban list changes anything, if there is a ban list, but I don't expect one for a little while. I don't expect a big format change in the middle of the Nationals month. So let's go ahead and jump on over to the deck list. I have made an extra and some ideas for side deck. Uh, if I were to bring this to a tournament, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment on the deck as you go and watch through the profile. Uh, let's jump on over. Okay, so I have a 40 card main and 15 card extra to show you guys starting with the main as per usual. As you can expect for this format, we're gonna have a lot of hand traps, a lot of generic, you know, removal cards. Uh, I am still planning to go second with this deck. I still think going second is the best way to play striker uh, at the moment, because if you build to go first and you lose dice roll, you're probably going to lose because your deck is too slow to be able to uh, compete going second and you know even if you open a solid floodgate or something it can still get outed and I don't know I think going second is the way to go at the moment so uh, we're playing three copies of Ray and two copies of Rose another reason to go second is that people are maining kaijus right now so if you go first and shut up like Shizuku set three and you get kaijued, you're you pretty much lost. So that's another reason I think you kind of have to go second uh, into a main deck kaiju format. Uh, so yeah, anyways, three ray, two rows, the standard. We need to see our starters uh, and then hand traps for days. We have triple ogre, triple droll, triple ash. Uh, so these, you know, ogre is for purely and samurai. Droll is for, I guess the same, purely and samurai and just generic competition. Uh, gets hit by Droll a lot, especially if people are playing Prosperity. Drolling on Prosperity is kind of nice because they usually Prosperity into another searcher. You guys know all this. Uh, and then Ash for the whole Branded thing. <laughs> uh, branded is still good. Uh, we don't want to get hit by Branded Fusion and you know lead to a Puppet Lock and all that kind of stuff. Puppet Lock isn't that bad against us, but um, still need to avoid that if possible. Uh, and then Triple Imperm as the last Hand Trap. Uh, but we are playing one more monster based board breaker, which is three copies of Gamma Seal. We need to play Kaiju's to out noir, otherwise, our engine is going to have a very hard time doing it. Kaiju is also going to be good against stuff like a Rise Heart Pass, or if we actually do run into like a Shangri era full board lock scenario. I think just Kaiju is very useful this format and we can afford to play it in our deck so uh this is 20 cards of non-spells and then my other 20 cards are going to be spells but you know this is like the max non-spell count in a striker deck i would recommend but we we need to be playing this kind of lineup in order to have any chance of beating the top tier stuff going second right now so uh let's scoop these up and now let's talk about the spell cards we'll be playing uh for the format uh, starting with the striker stuff, as usual, 
uh, one engage, and then Hornet drones and multi roll standard deck building. And then I'm also playing one area zero. Uh, we have three Widow Anchor, two Shark Cannon, two Afterburners, and two Linkage. And I think this is the ratio I like going forward. I don't really like Linkage that much, where I want to play three of it. I know it's the new card on the block, but I think two is fine. I really like Afterburners trading into stuff like Baron and Appaloosa. You know, especially if they just end on Appaloosa or something, then Afterburners kind of just wins you the game right there. Shark Cannon at two, I think is still good. Uh, you can make an argument for one. It doesn't really help break boards that much. So maybe we can cut one Shark Cannon for something like a Change of Heart, which I've opted to not include in this particular build. Uh, but I think Shark Cannon still has some value. So uh, we're going to play it at two for now. And then the rest of the spells are non-striker spells. Let me scoop these up a little bit. The non-striker spells, one called by the grave. Because hand traps are everywhere, I think having called by to make sure your essential effects resolve is going to be kind of nice. Uh, three copies of Triple Tactics Talent. Talent is so good in striker, which is, you know, striker is a card advantage deck. Striker plays through hand traps, so even if they hand trap you just to, you know, get some kind of use out of their hand traps, you can punish them hard with talents. Uh, hand rip, draw two, whatever. Striker having that kind of advantage is in incredibly good. Uh, and then one copy of Rhoda to search our Ray and Rose, and then two copies of Desires this format. I think with all the hand traps and board breakers we're playing, and sometimes you really need to see a Gamma Seal. I think Desires is going to be kind of nice and uh, a little bit better than Prosperity for this particular deck, in my opinion. You can play Prosperities, uh, but it's kind of up to you on which pot you want to play in the Striker deck right now. But uh, I'm going to give Desires a shot. It's pretty frequent. You can get to engage before you have to activate your desires. So and just remember, you can like Hayate, dump engage, and then activate desires in main phase two. And then you're guaranteed not to banish your engage, which is kind of nice. Uh, and let me talk about a couple things I'm not playing. Oh, this is the main 40. This is the full 40. A couple things I'm not playing anymore are upstart and terraforming. And that's because of Droll. Uh, I don't want to... I want all of my cards that search or draw to be high impact. And I don't want to get drolled on terraforming or drolled on upstart or, you know, if you like engage and they droll and then I'm still holding terraforming and upstart in my hand. I don't want dead cards in my hand like that. So uh, I'm just cutting all of the non high impact search and draw cards just to avoid conflicts with droll right now. Uh, and then change of heart. I think you can actually play it. I think we can cut one shark cannon for change of heart and maybe that's what we will do. So uh, we're gonna chuck that into the main deck here. Uh, maybe remove a shark cannon. It's not that great at breaking boards this format, but shark cannon is good into gimmick puppet lock if they don't have it banished already. So um, yeah, it's up to you on whether you think change of heart or shark cannon is going to have more value for you where you're playing uh, Sky Striker. Uh, but anyways, let's move on to the extra deck, which is uh, fairly standard. Uh, three copies of Kagari, three copies of Shiz, two Hayate, one Kaina, and two Zeke. Uh, we're playing a high count of Striker Links just because of Linkage, which locks you into Striker Links. So we always want to have something to go into. And there's nothing really pressing to play outside of your Striker Link package. This is the heart and soul of your deck. And I think the other four slots are going to be enough for, uh, you know, flexibility. So uh, the other four slots are going to be uh, three Charmers. I really like Charmers in Striker because they're very easy to go into, not only with your Striker links, but also when you steal an opponent's thing, monster, you can usually link it off right into whatever attribute it is. And the reason I'm playing win is because of the prevalence of Baron de Fleur. Uh, it's very easy to steal a Baron, link it into win, win revive it back, and now you have a Baron on your field, which is kind of nice and really breaks boards that way. Uh, Asa, similarly for Therion King Regulus and Kashira Fenrir, uh, you can just revive a Fenrir or Regulus to, to your field and have interruption from your opponent's deck, which is nice. Uh, and then we have one copy of Dark because just there's a lot of Dark monsters out there. 
uh, that we can use as linked material to get up into access code, which is our 15th card. So uh, if you are on a budget and access code is not in your budget, I think Boral Sword is also a very good option. So Boral Sword Dragon is gonna be pretty good for you. Yeah, I think this is gonna be it for the main and extra. If I were to play a side deck, I would play uh, Different Dimension Ground at three copies, Dimensional Barrier at three copies, Cosmic Cyclone at three, Evenly Matched at three, and Shared Ride at three. I think those are the way to go. Uh, if your opponent makes you go first, go into the chainable trap cards like D D Different Dimension Ground and D Barrier and Shared Ride, whichever ones are most applicable to your matchup. Uh, and then against back row decks, uh, we need the Evenly and Cosmic just to you know get that kind of card advantage. So uh, that's where I would be at right now uh, with my list. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment what you think about this list and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content and I will see you guys later. Peace, have a good one.